So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you find the ring? A lady never tells. Uh, you know, that is a good this question. Was impressed. Yeah. Well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. Mm. I'm so worried you might say no. Of course. Of course, I was gonna say yes, you dim. Hey, you, you big dummy. The second you said yes. I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. So you can walk all over me? What the hell? That's how you, that's how you can take what he just said. There is much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Right on. Oh shit. Yeah, let's fuck with them. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their mess! We gotta get rid of all this mess! We can't let them take us alive! What? <laughs> <laughs> Just get them now. Oh, yeah, totally. The beers. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Or will I? Okay. Oh, we can't look out of that. I guess we can't. Oh. Big dish. Yeah, I took that. I remember. Nope. Yeah, rescue service. Carolina Islands. Mm. Oh yeah, that's some good lighting though, that right there. Yeah, look at that. Sleeping on the job. Picture the controls. Don't we have a storm coming this way? Almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. The pad. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, big suit. Oh, shit. Easy, <sighs> Alex. Jeez. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. 
Oh. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? Do you think we could get there by tomorrow? <laughs> it takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. Did you find anything else? I wasn't sure, though, down. if they were coordinates. Bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. Should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. We never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard wow. about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, yeah. I right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, let's hear, let's it. hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Smith. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splay down on the floor, is mm -hmm. a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Hmm. <laughs> so gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Huh, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. Uh huh. Sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks uh -huh. closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And then, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, he's so ah, gross. Horrible. Oh, super <laughs> twist. Nice. Oh, good one. Nice one, Squire. Yeah, cool story, bro. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following oh. into this website. <laughs> 10 good, buddy. And I'm out. 
They have a website as this. Shit. How'd you get on the ship? <laughs> oh, get dodged. Oh, paying attention this time. Oh uh, yeah, they're back. See, I told you. They weren't just fishermen. Oh, these are different guys. Looks like they had the same boat, though. Same speedboat. No, wait, are these the same guys? I only got a... Oh yeah, definitely. That's the only guy that they really you can see before. Everyone else was kind of zoomed out. Oh yeah, see? Told you. I told you. That's two. Alright, we'll take yours off now. That's right, got some whiskers. Uh, where's Brad? Anyone gonna ask this? Untied. Gotta get untied. Right now. Shit. Oh, it's not bad. Come on. Shit. Dodge. Is he drunk? Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Uh. 
All right, we'll go along with it for now. Okay. okay. Oh, shit. Put your hands behind your back. Now you're f yeah, that's what I was saying. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. 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 Uh, don't lift your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yeah, I mean, you could stab one in the neck with the scissors, and then you gotta make sure he's got. It. Get the one with the gun. Six, seven, or maybe it could be the knife in his close quarters. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. We came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. Guy. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around in the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, we're going sneaky sneaky. Two, three. What are you thinking? 
I don't know. Thought I could just hit it. Fuck it. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Unless I can grab the knife and escape. I don't know. Oh shit, did I press it in time? Probably not. So, him escape. Well, I guess he's going for help, but. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Fuck is Brad? Still haven't seen him. I think Connie's okay. All right, shut the fuck up. Hey, calm down, man. No harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on it. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so. What a call, Kenny. Yeah. Do a good catch. Sit still. Follow you. You come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. If you try anything, anything fish, and there be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Mm. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. 
It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. It's not I'm used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of bucks and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Oh, shit. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Hmm. Wait. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Oh, gotcha. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how they didn't see Brad when they were going through the rooms. Oh, it's the ghost ship. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Okay, doing good so far. Ish, at least. Somewhat. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I guess they will find out. Mm -hmm. Kind hearted creature, I, know, maybe. I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Sure. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that too. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress i no. presume you're eager to get back to your story but here's a thing everything may not be entirely as it seems <sighs> probably shouldn't have said that hmm 